Hello fight fans, this is Coach Nathan of NS Champ 7 Part Boxing Series at NSChamp7.com back at you again with a new season of my quick pick fight previews and reviews and overall boxing commentary of all the top main events in the world of professional prize fighting. In this edition, this first edition of the new year 2023, will be a preview of tonight's main event, the matchup of undefeated WBA lightweight champion Javante Tank Davis, who's 27-0 with 25 knockouts, versus the number four ranked junior lightweight, also undefeated, Hector Luis Garcia, who was 16-0 with 10 knockouts. Okay, first off, folks, I'm going to address the elephant in the room concerning the buildup of this fight, and that's domestic abuse. Any man who strikes or beats a woman, I have no tolerance or stomach for. I also find it despicable, and I feel just like a lot of you, that they should be prosecuted to the full letter of the law. Now, this is coming from a man who uh, my mother recently passed in the, into heaven this past year, and I also have a wife and a daughter, as I'm sure some of you have also. Matter of fact, now this is just on the real, folks, my opinion. I believe every woman who's ever been abused should have some thuggish, ruggish brothers or cousins or some OG uncles who will not hesitate to gleefully put the bully in his place and give him some up close and personal hands on discipline, which I'm sure he sorely needs. In doing so, you probably have a lot less Weinsteins, Epsteins or R. Kelly's in this society. Now, for those of you who are thinking, hey, uh, coach, you're talking about violence, coach Nathan, uh, just a little. And having said all that, I realize we live in a country where every man is innocent until proven guilty. And it's not yet decided which is the case concerning Tank Davis. Of which also, I'm a fan of his boxing skills. So, enough of the social commentary. Now back to the fights. Garcia, a huge underdog, is a tough southpaw from the Dominican Republic with good punching power. And he's moving up from junior lightweight to lightweight. And in training camp, he looks to be in excellent shape, doesn't have an ounce of fat on him. He has a two to three inch height and reach advantage. And he showed good head movement throughout training camp, which gives him more of a puncher's chance than Davis's last opponent, Raleigh Romero. On the other hand, Tank Davis has shown no letdown in his training regimen, despite any baby's mama drama. And he's still throwing the same short, hard, compact punches in the bobbing and weaving style that has amassed his 25 knockouts and his 25 wins. This is a rare southpaw to southpaw matchup, which I predict is going to be an explosive, exciting fight while it lasts in favor of Tank Davis. The undercard will also feature a couple of excellent fighters who could be future undefeated pound for pound um, champions real soon. And that's undefeated two-time world champion Demetrius Bubu Andrade, who was 31-0 with 19 knockouts, who's now fighting a super middleweight, and arguably the number one contender in the welterweight division and one of the most avoided fighters in the division, and that's undefeated uh, prospect Jerron Boots Ennis, who was 29-0-1, the one being no contest, and he has 27 knockouts. So, that's my take on this exciting night of boxing, folks. But don't forget, for elite boxing instruction, elite boxing analysis, and elite boxing philosophy, check me out and subscribe to NS Champ 7 Part Boxing Series at NSChamp7.com. Enjoy the fights.